what to do with my wrestling. Oh well, that's what happened. Yeah, there was a lot of feeling out process there. What was going on in your mind during that feeling out process? Well, I, uh, <laughs> I haven't fought in a while, so it's going to affect my uh, mental game. You know? uh, when I take a big break like that, I don't like it. I like to fight every three months, nine months, and keep my head, you know, keep my, uh, myself alive. You feel like you had some ring rust? That's probably it. So what are you going to do? You're going to go back to the drawing board and regroup. What is that going to look like? Yeah, definitely. I'm going to use this fight as a lesson for myself. Uh, you know, start training harder and smarter. The janitor, Vladimir Musashenko, thanks for being with us. Still, still one of your I got like five promotions on the East Coast, so glad to have you. It went not that well for me, but uh, I thought I'm doing well for a while. Uh, choose my striking game over my wrestling because number one, I'm trying to you know try my skills and the striking skills. Second of all, uh, I had an injury not that long ago before a fight on my groin, so I didn't want to you know just get hurt in the fight and uh, I want to continue fight and show up 100%. What do you see next year in your career? Anything. Just keep going fighting. Do you want to fight for Affliction or is there other promotions contact? Yeah, I still have a few fights under Affliction contract, but I can fight it elsewhere. Where do you see the business going in five years from now? Uh, it's hard to say because hopefully it's going up. That's for sure. That's what my hope is, and that's uh, it's not just my hope. It's my it's my work. Do you that's feel that fighters should form a union? Uh, I wish I would. It's kind of like utopian, I, <laughs> I think, uh, idea. But uh, yeah, I'll support if I can. But I don't think it's gonna happen. And what did you think of the Fedor Orlovsky fight? Uh, again, that fight shows uh, why MMA is so popular right now because it's so unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. And I thought uh, Orlovsky is winning the fight, and uh, boom, that's what happens. It's like Fedor Thank you. waited for his angle. He waited for that right shot. He didn't change. I mean, he was just patient. It's a combination of you know. I think Andres did well in the beginning, and uh, he. He kind of get cocky, he jump into it, he could just stay back and uh, do his job. And, uh, but again, it's, it's a combination of hard work on the ring and plus you're, you have to think straight. It's really, really hard to do sometimes. You know, it may be kind of funny to say, but you know, Andre said he trained 10 weeks for this fight. That's quite a bit. I mean, but can you really train too hard for Fedor? Well, yes and no. You want to train, but you want to train not hard also. You want to train smart. You don't want to be overtrained and you don't want to be over over fried, I would say, and also the harder you train, there's a big potential for injuries. Just like myself, I sustained a growing injury right before the fight, and it kind of affect my game. That's why I was standing on my feet most, of, you know, most of the time and trying to, you know, just bang with it. I just have one question. It's my first MMA event. I never. Is this it always like this? It's getting better and better. Uh, yeah, you come at the right time and if you start watching now. If you started five years ago, probably you wouldn't be here now. Wait. You come out with, I see here you have over your eye stitches. Everybody comes out, banged out. But you guys act like nothing happened, like you're not feeling pain. It doesn't hurt? No, not really even hurt. But again, uh, this cut kind of affect my my loss a little bit because I didn't thought I got caught. If something was getting in my eye, and I was, apparently it was blood, and I was couldn't really see it out of my eye for a second, and uh, that's why I cut that knee. And, how did you get into mixed martial arts? Well, I started my uh, sports career in wrestling. I wrestled for back for Soviet Union and Belarus, Belarus national team. Came to the United States and uh, apparently it was not enough money for wrestling and his career is, was not going anywhere, so why not? So have you known Andrei Arlovsky for many years before now? Uh, I know for about seven, eight years. Oh, okay, so you're from the same country? Yeah, I was from the same country. 